εγκάθετον που ήταν η κουρά. Στη συνέχεια, εκάρφων να σφήνε στην τέταρτη πλευρά, των μπάτσων όπω έλεγαν, τι οποίε χτυπούσαν μέχρι να αποκολλήσουν ολόκληρο το κομμάτι του πετρώματο. Αφού το κομμάτι είναι αποκολλάτο, το τεμάχιζαν με τη χρήση του καταράχτη ενό κατάλληλου πριονιού σε μικρότερα μεγέθη. The wealth and variety of Cypriot architectural heritage is showcased in practically all of the island's traditional settlements, in the ancient and Byzantine monuments which adorn the Trodos mountain range, and the Cypriot countryside in general. The Trodos Mountains. There's still so much more one could say about them. Their natural mineral pigments, such as ochre, umber, sienna and terra verde, used to decorate pottery and to adorn churches today included in the UNESCO World Heritage List and still in use by prominent hagiographers to this day. One could also talk about its various types of soil used in pottery making since antiquity and which our generation is fortunate or unfortunate enough to be able to meet the last of the island's traditional potters. The long and complex geological processes in both Cyprus itself and the surrounding region created an island with a unique natural environment. An island of exceptional natural beauty, with richly varied landscapes and many unique features. An island described gracefully by ancient and modern travelers and writers, an island portrayed in the most vivid of colors by painters an island loved dearly by people, and an island lauded passionately by poets from antiquity till the present. Oh, how I wish I were in Cyprus on your beautiful island, Aphrodite, where Eros, your son, lives in company with mortals and with magic holds our hearts. Is it then pure coincidence that Greek mythology describes Aphrodite rising from the sea near Petra Duromiu, the area where Earth scientists today place the subduction of the African plate, an event which constituted the primary driving force for the rise from beneath the waves of the island itself? <laughs> 